sitting down to your morning coffee, turning on your home computer to read the day's newspaper. Well, it's not as far-fetched as it may seem. In fact, both local San Francisco papers are investing a lot of money to try and get a service just like that started. Science editor Steve Newman reports on one person already using the brand new system. Coffee shop chat at 12. 12. Q and A again. Go ahead. From Alexis. Alexis. Alexis, like Amazon Alexis? Like, yeah, maybe it's your sister. <laughs> maybe second cousin or something second. like that. Um, how do you get your business to a million dollars? How do you get your business to a million dollars? Well, if you're generating revenues already, uh, there's two ways to get it to a million. Number one is either increase the volume, so you, your amount of clients, or you increase how much you charge, right? Remember, uh, to make a million a year, I think it's twenty-eight hundred dollars a day. So just work backwards, and uh, you'll, you'll get to a million. Again, two ways to do it: more volume, more clients, or less clients and charge more. Only two what ways you, you can do it. What do you think is more effective? Depends on your business, man. For, for me, in the, in the mortgage business, I, I would say just bigger deals, bigger right? Deals. Bigger deals for me, yeah. And does that just come incrementally? Like you take one deal, go up a little more yeah, next time? Yeah, exactly. So in, instead of doing single family homes, you know, you can start doing, you know, constru you know, construction mortgages or even commercial mortgages and the deal sizes are much bigger, right? What's the, what was the first deal for you that really took a big step up? Well, I can't even remember. Was which one it was? I remember going from, you know, deals worth two hundred thousand, and then all of a sudden doing deals worth, you know, four or five million, and you know, that that happened, well, not in the snap of a finger, but I think that happened within within like six months, and then you know, my niche became you know anywhere between two to five million. And did it's you have that goal in mind? Like, did you know that number? No, when you were working towards it? no, no, no. I never had that number. It's just I got to know people that can help me within that number. Look, it's the same amount of work doing a, doing a $200,000 deal versus doing a $20 million deal. It's the same same work. In, in, in my business, it's just, you know, why not go bigger, right? Now those $20 million deals don't come around all the time. But again, these little $200,000 deals, you're chasing hundreds of clients just to make that money. When you can just chase three or four bigger deals and, and, and close the same, if not even even more. Less stress, less headache. Come on, Dale, you've been following me for what, six months now? I don't, I don't have too much stress. Bigger deals, bigger money. What do you got next? What's the biggest problem facing millennial entrepreneurs today? They're used to having something, they're used to getting stuff so quickly. Food, DoorDash or whatever, hauling a cab or, or a taxi right from the app, come downstairs, it's their patience, man. I don't, I don't think they have that. That's one of the things they, uh, they lack on. I'm not saying all of them, but uh, the ones that look at Dylan and start swearing when you know when he opens the the knob and the door is locked and he gets real pissed off, wants to break the window to get in. The camera's shaking because Dylan's laughing right now, guys. <laughs> uh, <laughs> go, go on. It's all false. It's all false. <laughs> Other than this money. is coming from Connor. Okay. So the last one was from Marcelo. This is this is coming from Connor. Other than money, what other ways do you measure the success of your company? Happiness. It's the only way I measure it. All to do with happiness. Am I adding value to somebody? You know, am I being of service to them? To me, I, I look at money. Sure, in business is very important, but I, I look at you know my my happiness, the happiness of the people around me, and the amount of value I bring to them, and then after that would be money. Is, is uh, from Dale? Is is your learning style keeping you keeping you broke? Is your learning style keeping you broke? This is what. Uh, you know the full-time students that constantly want to go to school degree after degree after degree? You know, I, I know they love learning, but I think what they're scared of is doing. And sometimes you just gotta you know, tell yourself, you know, I'm, I'm done with the learning. Let me put this to work and let, let me make this thing work and make it and, and make the money. Uh, I'm not saying stop learning, but maybe, maybe there's a time to stop school. All, everything that you learn, put it, to, uh, put it to work and go make money. Yeah. That's it. All right, guys, keep the questions coming. I love answering them. Uh, until next time.